Greetings, food surfers. Welcome to Eric Mealtime. I'm Eric, and this is Mega Brain 600. Where are we at today, Mega Brain? We're at a hot spring. Hot spring, that's right. And they've got some vending machines. Yes, they do. It's on a really busy street. So there's a ramen place over there with a couple machines. And then right behind the bus right here, we've got a couple more machines. Ooh, what is this stuff? It's a, a type of ramen? Yeah, it's a type of ramen. Type of ramen. Well, they got bentos up at the top. Bento lunch boxes. That's pretty rare, isn't it? That's rare. Yeah, you get a couple of those. And dumplings here, which are pretty common. And what's over here next door? That's what, tantamen? That's miso butter ramen. Okay, and then how about here? That's the tantamen, right? Yeah. Okay. And then what are these? Oh, look at these dishes. What is that called? I think it's shantan, right? Okay, Chinese kind of, yeah. right? And then some ramen's up at the top. All right, well, let's, let's get some, shall we? Okay, so what are we gonna get? Let's start with the top one of the bentos. It's so, like, these are the same, right? Yeah. So, one of each of these? Okay. Go for it. Get some. Two or three? Three. All right. Ooh. Nice looking package, huh? All right. That's looking good. It says, be my body goal. All right. That's cool. This guy? That one. Okay. Okay. Oh, what is that? Is that a hamburger? It's a hamburger. Two hamburgers and cheese. Okay. That's nice. Just thinking about it. Will it come out? <laughs> yeah, it come out. Okay, this one's, whoa, this one's a bit beat up. Wow, just like taped together. Uh-oh. This came out. Stick him in. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh. Okay, that's interesting. That's probably been in here for a while. That just looks super, super wholesome, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay. Hit it. Four, five, or six. It's kind of like the other one, huh? And we got a ramen shop across the way here. We want to check out their machines too. So let's do that. This is the place they got buses from the station. We drove here, but what'd you think of the sauna, man? That was pretty nice, huh? That was so hot. Super, super hot sauna. Yeah, I like the real deal sauna. Yeah. You could just tell by the people in there, man. They were serious, right? So yeah. Definitely we could come back to this place. Yeah. 900 yen too. It's a pretty good deal. Yeah, so we definitely recommend it, but it's kind of out in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. And uh, they had some machines in here too. Uh, so maybe we'll bring a camera next time. It says no cameras, but could, uh, we, we got a way around that. Yeah, maybe some milk they had in there. Yeah. There was a milk machine, there was a beer machine. What else did they have? Socks. Socks and underwear, that's right. And t-shirts. Yeah. <laughs> For guys that are working and yeah, are staying the night at this place. You can stay the night at a sauna in Japan. You pay a little bit more, but you can have a pretty good night's sleep. Yeah. Okay, so here is the ramen place. It's a giant ramen place. And then we're all, it's off in this major street right here, trucks industrial area. And there's their vending machine straight up ahead. Oh, look at that, Mega. They got a King's Treasure Box. You've never tried this machine before, have you? Have you tried the King's Treasure Box? No, I haven't. Oh, you definitely got to try it. Thousand yen. Thousand yen, and you could get any one of these super mega prizes. They got video cameras, game consoles. This is what you want, right? 
yeah. Switch, Nintendo Switch can come out of this machine? Really? Robots, remote control stuff. All right. Uh, give it a go and then you, you just push a random button and then uh, hopefully you get lucky. Thousand yen, say goodbye to our hard earned YouTube cash. <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> Okay, you sure that's the right button? <laughs> I don't know. We'll find out. No, oh, that was a heavy thump. What is it? Oh, it's Christmas all over again. <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. All right, we're going to open this later. Let's keep it a surprise, shall we? Well, it's a ramen restaurant, so you'd expect them to sell ramen. But we just got a bunch of... How many noodle dishes did we get from the last place? We got two already. Oh, we got two already. Uh, what else can we get? This one too, it's all ramen. Ramen, so this is their number one seller. You know how many fried rice, huh? No. They're all ramen, huh? This is their number two biggest seller. It's with the pork, their pork, huh? Must be good. Um, oh, they do have the dumplings. I bet their dumplings are good. It's a 15 pack for 1200. You got change? Yeah. Okay, go for the dumplings. And it's uh, number 10. Woohoo! Score! All right. Should we get something to drink too? Okay. Oh yeah, Coca-Cola. <laughs> Two Coca-Cola machines. Oh, they got Dr. Pepper. And actually I'm gonna have Dr. Pepper this time. Once a year I have Dr. Pepper, so. This is the time. <laughs> 130 yen, what's that, a dollar? Go for it. Have you, have you had Dr. Pepper? I have. Okay, so you, it, you know it tastes like uh, cough syrup, right? Yeah. Man, most Japanese don't like it. I think it's fabulous. Woohoo! Okay, what are you gonna get? I'm gonna go for this. Oh, he's going for the soup. <laughs> Which one? This one. Oh, uh, chicken ginger. Okay. Have you had it before? No. Okay. Good, now I'm not gonna tell you how it tastes, because I have had it. <laughs> You'll be surprised. Good choice. Yeah. Huh. And what did she get? Did she get the soup too, or Dr. Pepper? No, she got a Coke Zero Sugar. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Oh, jackpot. This is the factory right here. That's where they make the cookies, right in there. Ooh, I smell a little coconuts. We are at the Shonan Cookie Factory. This is exciting. Oh yeah, they got lots of them. They got the old school ones over here. Look at that, these are the type that they sell eggs in, right? Eggs and fruit and stuff, right? They're the old machines. Yeah. So 200 yen a shot. Let's go in. Oh, it smells so good. I think they're doing deliveries. It smells really good. All right, what's it gonna be? That's what I want right there, the longboards. Hook me up with a box of longboard cookies. Those are gingerbread. Yeah, number 10. Oh, yeah. Yeah, those are definitely my favorite. Oh, yeah. Surfer cookies for me. For the Eric Surf 6, if there's any surf left in me. The chocolates, dude. Something new, white chocolate? White chocolate. And then just milk chocolate, right? I've never yeah. seen that before. Okay, you choose, milk chocolate or white chocolate? 
What's it gonna be? It's pretty fancy. White chocolate? Okay. I like white chocolate too. Right. You got milk chocolate. I got milk chocolate. Did you, did you, by mistake? Mistake. Okay, well we're gonna have to get both kinds then. <laughs> okay. So here's the mistake. Milk chocolate, we can compare them. Sorry, they're only 300 yen. And you get quite a few. Yeah, what are they, they're like little, they're the size of like a one yen coin, aren't they? Yeah. Number nine? Number nine. Okay, we want white chocolate. What do you, do you guys like white chocolate or milk chocolate? Or dark chocolate? We're big white chocolate fans. Okay, there we go. Here's our desserts for later. Okay. And what else we got? Big boxes of cookies here. This is, oh, it's nice. It's a, what do you call it? Like a holiday pack, like a mixed, good for omiyage gift boxes. Mm hmm. Pretty fancy. There's the ones you like. Do you need that many? <laughs> <laughs> That's right? too much. It's like they're jelly cookies. Too much. There's one, there's a 400 yener. But you gotta have exact change for these. Let's get some change from a vending machine. Okay. Hey, let's get some of these with a the little fish and fish and cheese. Yeah? I mean, it's not just fish, it's cheese too. So it's, uh, they're only 90 yen. So if we don't like them, it's, it's only two, two pieces, I think. This one. Ooh, the door opens. That's pretty cool. Yeah, gotta get some fish cookies. We're in Japan. Cashew and Cashew. Pepper. pepper for 120. Definitely, let's try that. New stuff. All right, very nice. Right, these are your favorite, right? Those are my favorite. Okay. All right, there we go. These are the kind of discounted ones. Yeah, so they're getting close to the date codes coming up, I think, right? Yeah. So these are grab bags here, you can't see inside. 500 yen for a bunch of them. Should we try one? We should try. We should try, yeah, I think so too. <laughs> Four, 500, all right, let's get one of these grab bags. It's a fukubukuro. Don't know what you're gonna get for 500. Ooh, all right. So that's that. That's like four dollars worth of cookies. That's pretty good. All right. I think we got enough. Let's go. Hey, hey, we are back, and oh, somebody has prepared the food for us. This is awesome. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I got my Dr. Pepper. What do you got? I got a chicken ginger soup. Okay, he's having soup, <laughs> hot soup to drink. All right, that's good. Let's crack them. Cheers. Cheers. And we're going to pour these into clear glasses, mostly so you can see the soup. But Dr. Pepper also tastes better in a glass. I'm sure of it. Oh, yeah, it's exactly, these glasses are exactly 355 milliliters. Goes right to the top. Well, yep, it does, doesn't it? Okay, can't do cheers. <laughs> Mine's gonna spill. All right, nice looking color on that. It looks like cider almost, huh? It smells like ginger. Ginger? Okay, well, it's ginger chicken soup. It should. Okay, let's do it. Mmm. Oh, Dr. Pepper. Creamy, I'm tasting creamy. 
a bit of fruitiness. That's nice. A little bit, almost a little bit of cola flavor. Oh, it's good. That's really good. And this is still gingery. Gingery? Yeah. And it looks kind of watery, the soup. It's not really <clears throat> thick, is it? No. Okay, so more ginger flavor than chicken. Yeah. Do you taste any chicken at all? Actually, no. No. Yeah. <laughs> I think when I tried it in a video not too long ago, I think I said it was 90% ginger and 10% chicken. Does that sound about right? Yeah. That's what I said. That's how I reviewed it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But hot can soup, it's a treat in the winter, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. So where are we going to start tonight with this fabulous meal from the spa? This one. Okay. The bento. Yeah. All right. And look at this one. This is the hamburger one. And that's onions on top of here. It's marinated, it looks like. It's in a nice sauce. And then there's a tofu kind of covering to this next one. It's got, I'll give you a close up of this so you can see there. It's got egg in it. And it looks like a potato salad and a green as well too okay so these are the common items let's get into it <clears throat> hamburger Can we show them what the inside looks like i think we shall there it is there's a bit of pinkness to it no it's like it's cooked medium well all right let's go in Mmm. Mm. It's in a nice sauce, nice gravy. That's why I'd call it a gravy. It's a thick sauce. Right? Gravy and onions. It's good meat. Yeah. It's nice and moist. It's flavorful. Yeah, wow, I like that. It's not like standard Japanese hamburger meat, which is really super kind of soft and processed yeah. and it tastes like it's got not that much meat in it. This is meaty for sure. Good ground beef. Nice. Okay. So I'm going to go for the other one. The, uh, I don't know. It's a tofu <laughs> salad. That's what it is. It's a, and the tofu has been deep fried. Oh, mm. That's pleasant. I'm tasting mostly tofu. Right? Yeah. It's good. Deep fried tofu is nice. It's got a nice texture to it. Right? Not like the typical soft tofu that falls apart when you bite into <laughs> it or cut into it. This is ginger rose and mabo tofu. Okay, so it's a Chinese bento. Mabo tofu, that's tofu that's spicy, which I really like. It's got ground beef in it. Looks like nasu eggplant here in the bottom, and this is deep fried pork. Oh, I've had this before. This is tasty. It's got green beans and is that gobo root? Hmm. And pork, I think. Nice sauce. Spicy. Yeah, it's a, it's a stir fry. Mmm. Oh, that's good. Tasty. Very tasty. Nice crunch, right? Yeah. That the gobo root's got. And a good flavor of the green beans. Yeah. And the meat? The meat is? Mmm. Nice long strips. I think it's pork. Yeah, that's pretty tasty. Speaking of pork, let's try this one. Can we cut this in half? Yes, we can. <laughs> Stewed pork. Oh my gosh, it's fatty. <laughs> I had a mouthful of fat. <laughs> Me too. Did you get meat? You got fat too? <laughs> fat too. Both of them? Yeah. Down here too? I guess I'll eat this. Let me do the nostril. Oh, so fatty. 
<laughs> the nuts is so soft. Oh. Really soft. You know what, does that flavor too? Mmm, nice stewed nasu. It's good. Alright, and then Mabudofu. Get some. I'm gonna eat the rest out of the uh, out of the bento container. Mabudofu is a treat. Definitely, it's Chinese style tofu. And it's very popular in Japan, isn't it? All yeah. over the world, I think I would say. Yes. Chinese version of tofu. Delish! I'm saying delish and I haven't put it in my mouth yet. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. It's got the meat. It's got the heat. Mm. Oh yeah. I could eat this stuff all day. And it's nice when you eat it with rice too. Yeah. It kind of um it mellows out the uh the spice. Because it's definitely it's a really spicy dish, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Okay, Dr. Pepper time. Do you have something else to drink besides that hot soup? I do. You do? <laughs> okay. I got a plum cocktail. Plum cocktail, okay, yeah. good. Which bento did you like better? I like the chinjalos. Okay, all right. I think I like the hamburger better. It's got some cheese on it. I just It's got cheese inside it. Look, look, there's cheese inside there. <laughs> Jackpot. I discovered <laughs> cheese inside my hamburger. Did you even notice? I think I taste a little bit. Cheese inside there. Bonus. Mmm. <laughs> Moving on to the ramens. Yeah, this is the Cantonese style in a thick, dark sauce. There's an egg in there. The noodles look. Pretty thick. I'm starting out with a big chunk of pork. It's good. It's a really thick sauce. It's not spicy at all, though. Yeah? Not spicy. Mm -hmm. And the soup is... I don't know. It's almost gravy-like, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Like a wheat gravy. A tasty. Good taste, right? Spicy. No, yeah. definitely thicker than in Japanese broth in the ramens that they serve. This is the, what is it, the vegetable ramen? Do you remember the name? It's the suratan. Suratan. So also Chinese ramen. And this is even in a thicker sauce. I mean, it's really thick. Look at that. <laughs> super, super thick. Yeah, I mean, goodness gracious. This. Oh, that's right. We, got, we forgot this. Oh. Gotta add the red spice. Two packs of it. That's what it comes with. Hopefully we don't ruin it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay, so with two packets of what? Hot red sauce. I'm assuming it's hot. Okay. Let's go in. Let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> Starting with the pork again. Ooh. Oh boy. <clears throat> uh, it's like spicy it tastes like spicy tomatoes, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Mouse watering is too much. <laughs> too much heat. Oh no. <clears throat> Maybe one one packet would have been enough. Yeah. What is it? Why do they give you two? <clears throat> it's doable though. Oh, oh, the tomatoes are nice. <clears throat> Zesty tomatoes. Yeah, I think that's the main event. I 
I think the spicy red paste is the main event. This <laughs> <laughs> is gonna cause you to suffer. Too much. Too much. I'm gonna finish mine though. Get it over with. Oh. Oh. Okay. Could be in a baby, Eric. You alright? I'm alright. Okay. Moving on for the gyoza. I believe these are vegetable gyozas. The gyoza also comes with the sauce that happens to have some spice in it too. <laughs> <laughs> but there's no way it's gonna be as hot <coughs> as that stuff. Mm -hmm. You all right? <laughs> Grace is getting red. It's most vegetable. Oh. This goes on. A lot of vegetables. It's good and it's salty. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of flavor. Definitely got some, some onions in there. Very hearty gyoza. Those are good. Yeah. A lot yeah. of filling. They're, they're, I mean, good size, right? They're definitely jumbo gyozas. Moving on to the dessert items. Showing on cookie, cashew, pepper nuts. Peppered cashews. Going in. I wanted something a little sweeter though. That's good. To get rid of the hot in my mouth. Yeah. They're good though. No, yeah. they're glazed. Nice and fresh. And the fish cookie. These things are gorgeous. It's a fish cookie. Look at those fish. Look at those fish. Don't look at the fish. Just, just <laughs> eat it. So the question is, is it fishy? Yes or no? Yes. It's definitely fishy, but it's also sweet. Yeah. So sweet and savory. Not too much fish. Huh? Not too much. There's more sweetness than there is yeah. fishiness, Bob. Nonetheless, still fishy. It's shiokaze to taiyo. Shio. It's got salt on it. They look like they're sugar cookies with jelly in the center. And mine are like gingerbread cookies that are shaped like longboard surfboards. And these are my favorite. I've had these before. I love these things. They've got nuts in them. On the box it says hazel and cinnamon. That's pretty. Strawberry. It's like strawberry jam in there, isn't it? Yeah. Mmm. Oh yeah. I think it's a sugar cookie, very soft. Like so the way good. my grandmother used to make them. <laughs> it's a sugar cookie, but the jelly is nice and thick. Yeah. Oh, it's a good cookie. And good flavor too. Yeah. This one, mine, tastes more like a dog biscuit in texture. Definitely an adult flavor. Yeah. So. Mm. Crunchy. Taste that cinnamon? Yeah. And I believe it is a ginger red. To me. Tastes ginger like too. And then hazelnuts. Mmm. That was good. Pretty good. It's a man's cookie. So we've got white chocolate and regular chocolate. I guess it's milk chocolate. And it says on the back, what, Spain? Yeah, it's Spain. The chocolate is from Spain. But the place we got these was the factory. And, oh, <laughs> there's one on the floor. Okay, I'm going for the white first. Mmm. Oh, creamy goodness. This for white chocolate, eh. It's pretty run of the mill. <laughs> Average. Yeah. But again, for the price, these things were cheap too, right? I'm like, very reasonable. Yeah. Mmm. Milk chocolate's better. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And we've got good white chocolate in Japan for relatively cheap. There's a lot of good makers, right? 
Ja. Sau. Mmm. That's quality. I like these. The milk chocolate's really good. But we still have the King's Treasure box there. Pay a thousand yen, which is like, what, seven dollars fifty cents, and see what you get. It's a gamble. Sometimes you get lucky. Most times you don't. You got a Christmas mug. <laughs> a Christmas mug after Christmas. I guess you could. And there's a mask. Oh, there's a mask. <laughs> okay, we're still using masks in Japan. Probably be using them forever. Show them the Christmas cup after Christmas. Nobody wants to see a Christmas cup after Christmas. <laughs> you can re repackage that. You can re-gift that next year to somebody. Yeah. yeah. But, uh, eh, for seven bucks, that's all right. It's all right. It's all right. What did you think of the meal? It was an interesting one for sure. <clears throat> yeah. Right? Some stuff that we've never had before. Like, it's nice to get Chinese ramen, the, like, the real stuff. And then those two bentos were pretty unique. Yeah. Right? Very different because there's no rice in them. A Japanese bento, typically you're going to have rice. So they were calling it like a low carb, right? Low carb bento lunch boxes, right? Yeah. The gyoza was good. A lot of vegetables in there. The ramen's interesting. I'll just say interesting. <laughs> Shonan Cookie's amazing, I think, for the value. Right? That place is very popping. A lot of people coming in there. Yeah. So, overall, where are you going to rate it? One to six mega heads? What are you going to do? I'm going to go six. Six. He's going full six, ladies and gentlemen. What did you enjoy the most? To give it a six. I think the bentos. Both are very good. Yeah. Yeah, definitely gourmet bentos. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. I agree with that. The ramen, uh... I'm a bit indifferent about the ramen, I think. <laughs> um, if you're, if we were just eating ramen by itself, we probably could have wailed it down. But <clears throat> that was definitely too spicy yeah. for me. I was suffering after that second ramen. Really, I was hoping to eat some sweet stuff really quick so that the heat would go away. Um, so five out of six for me. But since he went six, full six, we're giving away three of our get some snack packs. They're goodies that we assemble from Japan and send off to you guys as our thanks for watching the videos. So what do they have to do to enter? Comment. Comment. Leave a comment down below on this video and we will choose three winners and announce them in the video description of the next Eric Meal Time. So thank you guys for watching. Give the video a like if you enjoyed it. And how do we usually finish it off? We look forward to reading Oh, he doesn't even read the comments. I do, though. So. Yeah, one of these days. All right, so Eric and Mega out.